Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video and in this video I will be showing you how to install the skin fix the UUID skin fix, the new skin fix for alpha 1.2.6 and beta 1.7.3 it's exactly the same but you just need different files so anyways I'm gonna be using multi MC and uh, if you don't use multi MC I highly recommend it because it's really easy and it's just good to use so I already have it pinned here on my toolbar so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new instance you name it you know ZZZZZ whatever you want to name it since I'm gonna be starting with alpha I'm gonna press A and it will take me straight to the version that I want so ba bam hit OK so we're gonna go ahead and launch it once just so you guys can see what I'm talking about exactly so let's go ahead and go to single player new world I would just join a server but I don't actually know the IP of any servers off the top of my head and without the skin fix you obviously don't have a skin now part of the way that this works is like it has to be a uh, username obviously but let's say for example let's say you don't own the account you won't be able to change a skin at least not through any method that I know just because if you don't own the account you won't be able to go on the Mojang website and change it alright so now that we have that you want to go ahead and open up the link that I will have posted in the description so this is the alpha one this is the uh, simple skin fix UUID so this is the alpha version apparently my link is broken so yeah Okay, so if you have to regenerate a new key, don't worry about that. That isn't a problem. All right, so this I did sort of, I didn't exactly make it, but I did port it. Here is the file. I did not create the code for this, but I did port it back to alpha 1.2.6 because the person that made it made it for beta 1.7.3. So if you do decide to open up the zip file, that's all this credits. Uh, thing says is you know who is made by and then that I ported it that's literally it so don't worry about that so once you have it downloaded you can go back into multi MC and then have the ver have your uh, have your instance selected you do edit instance wait that for that to open up you go over here to version tab and then there's an add to minecraft.jar so you click that now you're going to want to go to wherever you save the file and since I didn't save it in a particular place I'm just going to go over here to my download and I'll go down to S and then skin fix simple skin fix UUID dot zip so go ahead and open and then close this launch this wait for the game to open up so the game opens up load your world or load into your server and then you have your skin and I have this really weird skin that I found on skin deck I just thought it was hilarious so yeah that's that's why the skin is yep so anyways so that's for alpha 1.2.6 which was ported by me not made by me already so after you do that it's exact it's pretty much exactly the same way for beta 1.7.3 except it's a different version so you need the different zip you go over here to beta 1.7.3 hit ok and by the way you don't have to name your instance now for the sake of time I'm gonna go ahead and just download the file instead of launching the game first that's not something you actually have to do you can go ahead and just make the instance and then add in the mod so let's go ahead and go back into multi MC edit instance add to minecraft jar simple skin fix right here by um, pirate JSK I, I really don't know how to I don't know how else to put that so you go ahead and open it up and that guy right there, the pirate JSK dude, or J, yeah, JSK, he is the one that made the mod, and I ported his code to alpha 1.2.6. So anyways, after you've added the mod, you can go ahead and close it, and then launch the game, and then after you launch the game, let's just go ahead and connect to betalands.com. And as you can see, I have a skin. So that is how you install both of the skin fixes. It's exactly the same, just a different version and different files. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave a like, 